welcome back. We're here to do the karmic third party. I am seeing some very interesting energy here, and I do feel this potentially could be a big change for these individuals. Separately, if you do want to join our Super Chat sessions, we do have them pre-scheduled. You can click the bell on the videos to be notified. They can be paid via donation payment link, which is connected inside the chat box. Separately, you can pay on the day via YouTube. Now, if you do want to join our members, we also have these pre-released ahead of the crowd within the dark super chats. Let's take a look. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, the first thing I was getting is there, there is a bit of an issue going on with these individuals. And I, I do feel it is really matching both feminines and masculines, right? Um, this can be something that they feel spiritually um, is very much changed for them. Oh, we're getting ahead. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so there's something really changing here. And I do get that there is almost like wisdom, wisdom really um, not being there to do with the circumstance. But it feels as though um, they've been taken by surprise in some shape or form. They're trying to look to the past here and they're trying to have faith with the circumstance, but something is trying to get them into balance. And they do feel every time they get into balance and harmony, I feel sort of a judgment is coming for them. I do feel there's a pocket group that have felt that this situation from a karmic level has been on the rocks for a while. I, I do feel some of that judgment is going to be out of their hands, but it's almost like I see them walking on a tightrope, and this can be quite quite um, triggering. They have also been working quite vigilantly and this can be to prevent the union between the TF. I almost feel that these emotions, they're noticing that the individual who is um, in a joint connection with them has really transformed where they may have been quite under the spell of the circumstance. I do feel there's a lot of angelic light around them and I feel it's almost like they've transformed, they've um, turned their head in a new direction and this is almost like the phoenix rising. I feel it's divinely guided. I also feel some of them have been experiencing headaches. They might have been um, allowing the emotions to get the better of them and I feel this has been traveling through to divine feminine and masculine. But the individual who's involved with them, it's almost like this witch energy. It's almost like the shackles are broken off this circumstance. I also feel if they have been on the rocks in this um, connection, I, I do feel they're, um, was, they're making reference, and this can be for, for a pocket group. It will not be for all. There is a pocket group. They're making reference to the fact that an ancestor had transcended. This could have been on their side or twins. But it was from that point that they felt that this connection had been on the rocks. They're also mentioning health. <clears throat> Again, this may have delayed the circumstance, but I'm noticing the Celtic knot, knot um, on the triangle, and I do feel... Um, there was a lot of healing. Um, they may have sacrificed to remain in this connection, but it was only a temporary stop, so to speak. They knew this was only going to be temporary. Hmm. I'm hearing the term plenty of fish in the sea, but I think it's uh, being referenced to divine feminine. Um, this is also worry about NG um, that divine masculine may not be reconciling and that, you know, the one person maybe they had their eye on that was divine feminine or masculine. They're realizing there's plenty of fish in the sea and that's actually causing them a lot of grief. That's causing them more stress. You know, when you have your eye on the metaphorical enemy, you feel you have control. But once you realize that there's you know, more out there. This is an individual who has kind of isolated themselves um, and their game's sort of blowing up in their face. 
Yeah, there's a reluctance to end a circumstance. This is also a pattern. Um, there's still the obsessiveness surrounding it. Yeah, there's this. They may not be expecting the tower, but I feel there's a pending tower, and I do feel it's actually happening this month. Um, this can really, yeah, it's almost saying that they can be their own worst enemies, but there's something that's going to be blindsiding them, and they're going to be seeing, oh, all the fairies and the angels, it's almost like the pretty side of life, and then it's almost that it's um, the truth is coming out and it's looking quite messy, but it's really taking them by surprise in this instance. Yeah, definitely. They just are not um, energetically, physically, mentally. They're just not. It's like they're sort of going to have three. That universe is making reference to the rules of three. So it's the near miss, um, the, the 3D, and then you still do nothing. It's the tower. Yeah, this is a rebirth. This is a rebirth of the circumstance. It's a brand new chapter that's coming. There is an element of insecurity. Uh, I also see counterpart pulling away. This person can be really getting into alignment and becoming quite um, isolated in their frequency. I also see see the individual with the Kindle in the activated. It's it's very hot on the back. We can see the heat coming off the spine. And this is where the energy of what was holding them at, it's almost like spiritually, um, it's burning it away. This is an old life being burnt away. I also feel, um, it's almost like I'm noticing the horns on the head. It's like um, the Jupiter energy and the Adam and Eve, it's coming into alignment of it. Yeah, they're not allowing anything to take it from them. The karmic, it's almost like they've swapped places with the circumstance. Yeah, they're very emotional. It's almost like where they had the power that the roles have shifted. The roles have shifted and, you know, it's sort of like, yeah, this person's ascended. This person's not taking no crap. This person's starting to care for themselves. Their attitude's shifting. Um, they're not battling with this individual. They're not fighting. Um they're doing them. They could be really seeking counsel outside themselves at this point. They also could be entertaining another connection. But the funny thing is, you know, they're, they're repeating patterns here. Okay, what do we need to know about the crowning energy, please? What do we need to know about the crowning energy? Hmm. Yeah, what love really is. Is there codependency here? What do we need to know about this place? Yeah, this is. Ah, oh, okay. For some, yes, it is showing there's a potential they could have been entertaining another individual. For others, it can be that they're so nonchalant about it. They're almost like everything's fine, there's no problem. I do believe there is a pocket group that already had had a conversation, and I do think there's been family involvement. Um, But it's almost like white noise. I just see it as white noise. This really is going to come quite to as a surprise to this individual. I feel counterpart is moving away from this circumstance. I do feel there's a major conversation about to come through, especially the foundation energy of the outcome. The throat is very extended here with blue, and I feel it's almost like whatever was really holding their throat chakra in where it was preventing them from communicating I feel this is actually going to be a blossoming effect when they actually do speak their truth. I'm physically seeing the individual who was involved with twin is actually moving. One or the other is moving. There is a shift in the physical foundation. This person is leveling up 
and they're not they're not how do I say it? Whatever this conversation is, it, it seems very final. It seems very this is what's happening, not doing this anymore. And they're out the door. If you do want to join us for the super chats, go to the main page on YouTube, click the bell on the individual super chat you wish to attend, and it will notify you. Read the instructions inside the community chat box. It will give you all instructions on how to join. And yes, if you can't be there on the day, you can say you're paid and you write your question and I will answer the question with your name on the screen. If you do want any of this content ahead of the crowd, we do cover masculine, feminine, karmic and the third party as well as new content coming in 2024. Take care. Hope to see you within our YouTube membership.